Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, and welcome to the mental house. All right? When we talk about this real stuff and we challenge ourselves to be the best we can be, right? And the first thing we always talk about, so so first of all, whatever side of the diaspora that you own, I want to welcome you. Thank you for being out there. Listen, family, um, I had to bring this to y'all, and it's very early in the morning, but this is a very disturbing trend, and I want y'all to listen to this article. I want you to just hear it, Um, because it's very important, and it's setting the tone for some stuff that I think um, that pretty much runs parallel to... um, you know what 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 madness is on on the planet and as a whole are you checking your stinking thinking because i want to share something with y'all and i want to know if this was you this is about our children y'all it's all we got is our babies that's all because most of us, or a lot of us, done screwed up our lives. A lot of us, a lot of us, were wounded as babies. A lot of us didn't get those wounds and stuff cleared out. And so now we're miserable adults. We're sick adults. And we mask. So every time you meet somebody... You know, you meet a representative. But to appeal to the people that got any kind of sense. And if I was to replace this word, COVID-19, with cancer, say, uh, HIV, uh, what's TB, uh, what is very contagious, or uh, drugs, I'm going to replace this word COVID-19 cases with those references. Then I want you to look at this article and see what it sounds like. It sounds like something out of a freaking madhouse. Y'all got to, y'all got to hear me. I'm not crazy. Why am I straight? I don't even understand it. Why, Why the hell am I straight? Because the new guidelines will allow for remote learning for up to 20 days for students who are sick with COVID-19 or have been exposed to it. Texas school districts will not be required to conduct contact tracing this year if a student contracts COVID-19 according to the new guidelines issued by the Texas Education Agency this week. Are you fucking kidding me? You would actually let these kids go to school and be under the threat or have kids that tested positive and have the coronavirus and you won't inform the parents? Now, I know a lot of y'all, trust me, because I do believe in freedom. I do. But with freedom comes responsibility, people. And the children are just hostages. They do whatever we tell them to do. So we're going to make these babies. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all going to send your kids to the schools. And these people are already telling you your kid could be sick. It could be in, laying next to a person with the biggest super spreader that had ever been invented to mankind. But we ain't got to tell your parents. How does that sound? We don't have to tell you parents anything. Oh, Lord have mercy. The agency said a district should notify parents if it learns of a student who has been a close contact to someone with the virus. But with the relaxation of the contract tracing broad notifications, it will not be mandatory. The TEA announced, the Texas Education Association announced its rules in 
public health guidance issued on Thursday. While districts must report positive cases to their local health department and the state now, they can tell them. But your parents don't get to know what is wrong with these devils. The TEA said contract tracing will not be required because of the data from 2021 shows very low COVID-19 transmission rates in a classroom setting and data demonstrate lower transmission rates among children than adults. Don't double talk me, bitch. Don't double talk me. So if it don't matter, then why you got to give the data to them? Are you kidding me? The parents don't get the data. The data. Parents, you should be outraged. Parents, those of y'all are that crazy that are being influenced by the narcissist, the great, the world's 21st century's narcissist, uh, the 21st century uh, century's version of uh, Mussolini or Hitler. If y'all going by this cult uh, experience of uh, feeling then y'all babies are such in jeopardy and they got to be born to some ignorant people, be raised by some crazy people and be exposed and not even taking their quality of life as a health concern because the parents don't need to know. It's on a need to know basis and your ass don't need to know. But some public health experts quickly questioned the rationale, noting that the more contagious Delta virus, a virus was not prevalent during the school last year. We're going to find that the transmission rate in schools is going to be much higher with the Delta variant and the absolute imperative that people get back to masking. As Texas is saying, you ain't got to, you don't have to have no mask. What is wrong with y'all? Um, the new Guidance allows for remote learning for up to 120 days for students who are sick with COVID or have been exposed to it. If more time is needed, the school can apply for waivers. Now, if you're sick at home with COVID on your deathbed, what kind of shit sis, does this make you people? Would you please tell me who in the hell going to be doing homework laying up there sick? So none of this makes sense to me. Texas schools vary when they return to the classroom with many starting in days or having already begun. Many hope for a safer and easier return to school after COVID-19 hospitalizations and infection declined in the state. But, but with the emergence of the Delta virus, cases and hospitalizations, including of children, are once again surging upwards, especially among unvaccinated populations. Alarming some public health experts, parents, and teachers. The TEA is also allowing schools to conduct rapid tests on staff to mitigate the risk of an asymptomatic individuals being on campus. With written permission from parents, students can also be tested. Parents and school officials are to continue to keep keeping students out of classrooms if they have COVID or are exhibiting symptoms. Parents can also choose to keep their kids home for 10 days after learning that their children had close, close contact with someone. I don't know how they're going to find out. According to the new guidance, uh, Dr. Sepp Kaplan, president of the Pediatric Society in Texas, I mean, he believes that contact tracing should be mandated in every school. Our concern right now is that we are being given guidelines based on old conditions. We are not adjusting for what the current conditions are. And we no longer have universal masking. And we are much more contagious variant. We have a much more contagious variant of the virus. Not doing contract tracing is based on old rules of the game. He also said that um, he's seen parents who had to be hospitalized in an intensive care unit after contracting the virus from children who had returned from camp. You hear that? They got it from their kids. 
Oh my goodness. I mean, listen to this. I, I, it's, it makes no sense, people. It makes no sense. I would support contact tracing. If a kid in my classroom got lights or pink eye, I sometimes notify the parents I should. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? So if I have to notify a parent because someone in my class got lice, it would still make sense to me that I would notify a parent if someone in my class caught COVID. At least one district is considering flouting Abbott's order. Um, and that's the superintendent of the Houston Independent School District. He said he plans to bring back the mask mandate to a vote at the district board meet next week pointing to increasing hospitalizations and infections as the reason. Houston's ISD is the state's largest school district and appears to be first district poised to go against Abbott's order. We know that we're going to get pushback for this. We know this, that people will be angry. But we got to understand, what we got to understand is if we have the opportunity to save one life, that's what we should be doing. That's exactly what we should be doing. And I agree. I certainly agree. Well, family, tell me what you think. Tell me, am I tripping? <laughs> Am I tripping, family? Please let me know in the comments. Share your feeling about it. Do you think that these parents should be, uh, I guess, quarantined from finding out any information? Basically, what do you think about that? And I'd like to hear from you. And if you like what you hear, y'all, please donate to the channel. Please like the channel. Please subscribe to the channel and share. Share, 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 share. And not only that, why don't you become a member of the channel? You know, we can do some exciting things and some new things. Let's 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 um have some active participation from the channel on the channel. And um I'm gonna see if I can uh turn it up a little bit, okay? All right. We'll see you in the next one, family.